A southern Indiana county changes direction in an attempt to get a broken levee fixed before planting season. Davies County officials say they've been unable to secure a grant to repair the breaks in the Bennington levee. News 10's Mike Grant reports the county is now looking to carry out its own repairs, but is also filing a lawsuit to try and recover some of that money. Almost one year ago, the Bennington levee broke and floodwaters from the White River covered almost 8,000 acres. Davies County officials have made repeated attempts since then to secure grants to repair the levee, but haven't been successful. Now, they'll have to fix it on their own. In conjunction with the Bennington Levy Board, there are estimates being taken, and, and I would think bids would go out fairly soon, or hopefully, to repair that so we don't get into another season of lost crop. Davies County officials say they're going to get into their rainy day fund and probably end up spending about a million dollars to get this levee fixed, hopefully before planting season. But in the meantime, they're filing litigation to try and recover some of that money. The county had a consultant look at the area following the break and contends that work being done on Randall Bowman's land at the direction of Dom Vilwalk by Shepherd Construction played a part in the levee failure. There was, in his opinion, um, some definite errors made with regard to some excavation work in that area. Davies County officials say they know a lawsuit will take a lot of time, but they feel that that was their only chance at this point to get the levee repaired and some of their money back. In Davies County, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. News 10 tried to contact Don Will Vilwalk, who is also president of the Indiana Farm Bureau, but he was not available for comment.